uh, Claude Harmon taught me, you know, the great, greatest bunker players ever, was he, he would take this golf pride and he would turn that open and then, yeah. and then grip. And then grip, yeah. And then on the backswing, he would cock that wrist this way so at the top, the face was almost pointed yeah. at you. Yeah, it's faced exactly. And then try to make a right a right handed swing and keep the divot as straight as possible, not not over here. Mm -hmm. So then you can really use the back gate for that deal. Nice. Yeah. You gotta hit it with the with the bunker side, you gotta hit it back here. Here's the back. And they're making these wedges now. Yours is a your brand Callaway, but it's essentially the same thing. It's got the that ridge there mm -hmm. and I've got that ridge there yeah, too. So I, I softened this a little bit so I could Lay it open, I can get underneath a little more. Let me try one more, Mike. The Paul Harmon, he would open. And as you get over it, you open, you keep opening, keep opening, keep opening. Just always opening that club, twisting it. Now you can that's see a, the golf pride is almost pointing that's at you. That's the one error I see with most amateurs. They, they wonder why they can't get the ball up. Well, they got the and then I'm going to, I'm opening it more. Exactly. Now I can now. How many times I, you get in there and you see an amateur, you sit like this when it's like 56. Yeah. So the reason I keep opening it, opening it, opening it, is I can hit my hand and not close it. Exactly. That's what I'm, I'm taking it and being aggressive with it. Yeah, it's nice. nice. Uh, ball fly straight too. Right? Come spin. No spin. Goes up and just stop. And the only thing I'm looking for here, Pat, is I'm looking for my divot to be at the pin, yeah, exactly. as opposed to over Left. here. Yeah. And what that does, it keeps the club in the sand a long time going down the line. Yeah, that's, it's a, that's still a, open. Yeah, that's fantastic.